Hey guys, welcome back to the doghouse. My name is Jessica. This is Gunner the Golden and Grim over there in a place stay or just a place because the stay is, um, what's it called? Implied. Doing with his nice distractions. I've noticed with Gunner, he is really bad, which to me it's kind of frustrating. So I'm going to say it's bad. It's not the worst thing, but he does an auto sit and. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Grim. <laughs> so anyways, um, when it comes to getting Gunner to do uh, like just maybe a, like teaching him a new thing like heel, like while I, I like to do a heel position while I'm standing and uh, so and being still and um, I want to teach him, you know, heel means to come to the left side of my body and sit. So of course he's auto sitting right now, so it's not really... <laughs> The weather's changing. Kitty sneeze. Um, so right now what happens though is he auto sits right in front of me. He's on a long line right now. Um, he auto sits like non-stop right in front of me. Then he moves like of an inch and he sits again or he just scoots his butt. And I noticed that it's really frustrating and it's really hard to teach him kind of anything else. So then to just sit in front of me and look. He kind of came that way. He was already really good at, he had a solid sit when he came to me. So, and I just think that was just overly used. So I, it's not that we're going to break him from sitting, but uh, Gunner, come. Good job. Good boy. He's not used to having the long line freedom. Today we're gonna work on just teaching him how to lure almost, how to like follow a treat and what that means. I've kind of had to do that with Lila. She did get an auto sit as well, but I did end up, oh God. So I'm just gonna kind of like, while Grim is doing that, a duration place, while he has to watch me work Gunner with food, both dogs have not eaten yet today and have not exercised or anything today. So Grim is nice and wound and hungry. He is fitted with a knee collar today for this, and Gunner is also wound and hungry. Looking for cat poop. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to teach him to like just lure, just to be lured. Um, I'm gonna show him, he's gonna have, I'm gonna have his food in my hands and I'm gonna just be clicking and treating, wherever the clicker is, clicking and treating as he follows it. Um, and then to an end of it, he gets it. And I don't want him to sit at the end. So I'm gonna try to keep him moving is my, what I think I need to do. I'm actually not really sure, so <laughs> we'll see. So you can see I can't even get him to go in a circle with, my, with a treat, to follow a treat, he just sits. So that's part of our issue. He's just licking my hand, there's just a piece of kibble. Again, there's no treats, it's just his food. Well, I treated him on the sit, that wasn't good. Good. That was better. Well, Papa, you want to play? Hey, Papa. Leave it. I'm not even going to make him sit for the heel yet. Remember, he already knows sit. So 
of course I started out with like, I started out with moving, like moving a lot. Obviously I'm gonna continue to do that and just keep moving and keep him moving. I do stop sometimes and like do a lure while I'm being still, but I'm gonna start doing that more. He's getting another. The treat you dropped out of your big slimy mouth. sitting, but that's okay. It's doing pretty well. Okay. Okay. Nope. See, now he's going back to auto sick. He was getting a little cray cray, so that's why I turned to using the, the, the leash with the prong and adding a little bit more like controlled direction instead of just the fun, fun treat part. And then he got treated, but ready? Start over. That's okay, it's part of training. Start over a little bit, take a couple steps back. If you were pushing it too hard at first, that's kind of what that what that was about. It was just basically I was asking him to do it a lot longer than he's capable. going back to doing this. I slow my hand movements down. I think that's a part of it. Okay. So I'm gonna switch them out. I'm just gonna like let Graham do, he does stuff for play. He doesn't really care to like eat or do treats and stuff. Um, he cares to eat, but um, he loves, he does a play reward and he's not learning anything right now. So I'm just gonna work him while I have Gunner do the play stay. Uh, he is tied, he's back tied to the fence because he's not fitted with an e-collar right now and I don't trust him to not get up and Graham I can and also with an e-collar it's more trustworthy. So anyways with Gunner what I was doing is obviously just teaching him to follow my hand a little bit, short amounts. I'm not going to expect him to do um, full, I don't even know what, but I mean doing the heel. He, he basically gets it but I'm again just start, it's like laying down the foundation for for heel and learning other positions if I wanted to teach him or even just I mean it, it goes it, having a dog be able to follow your hand with a tree is pretty important for any kind of training if you wanted to do it um, agility just learning eventually you know with his confidence building and stuff like that and doing like climbing and pl playgrounds and stuff like that it's good to be able to lure them <laughs> with your hand because otherwise if he's just like gonna sit you know, behind everything or in front of everything is not really going to work. So, but so we're just laying that foundation. No, I did not say the word, the command heal or anything like that, or give him too much talking. As you can see, just from me moving slightly too fast occasionally, he gets overexcited and like loses it. He becomes drunk almost, and there's no talking to him. So you got to kind of take him back a step and then 
start over. There's that. So now I'm just gonna work grim a little bit. Also, keeping the the sessions short. I mean, that was a whole like, I don't even know how fast, oh. Well, that was almost 20 minutes, so, but still we didn't, we talked for a little bit first, so that's a good, good amount of time and that's, we're done. So he's got probably half of his breakfast still in here and he'll get that later, so after we're done here. Grim, stop. Ah, ah, place. Gunner, place. Good boy. Watch. Puss. Good boy. guys I'm gonna end this video I hope you liked it I hope it was informal I don't know is that a word informative informal is that I don't know is that the same thing I don't know uh, so I guess this is another little series for Gunner the Golden and a little grim a little grim involved so but this is really good if you've got two dogs that need work if you have two dogs at all and even if one doesn't need work this is a good exercise to do um, even if it's not like rigorous work like movement and, and exercise um, this is brain stimulating and that's just as important. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share if you want um, and I'll see you in the next video.